If you consider yourself a fan of The Real Housewives of Salt Lake City, then I'm sure you've caught a glimpse of Mary Cosby's massive Utah home. While this place is impressive, it's apparently only one of her properties across the US, and the reality star owns homes in Las Vegas, New York, and more. And today, we're going to take a look at where Mary calls home. We even found the listings. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, even though I've done a house tour of my own place. Please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Mary Cosby is a main cast member on the Bravo reality series, The Real Housewives of Salt Lake City, which premiered in 2020. And it's already said that she's one of the richest on the series with a net worth of over $5 million. Like every single Chanel, he's finding it for me. I know I'm not I'm proud to find my, myself anything. Considering all her properties and all the stuff that she owns, I would say the number is even higher than that. Anyways, Mary is a Pentecostal first lady, aka church is a big part of her life. It's a well-known fact that she inherited her family's empire of churches, restaurants, and more. Even all five of her homes which are scattered across the US. Hey guys, it's Care the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment. This one, looking at the homes of Real Housewives of Salt Lake City star Mary Cosby. Be sure to subscribe and ring that bell for notifications because we post brand new videos daily. As always, you can follow me over on Instagram if you want to chat. And now let's get into this video. It's no doubt that Mary is a housewife star with an interesting story. In an episode of the Bravo series, she explained how she came to acquire her handful of stunning properties, saying, When my grandmother left, she left me her empire. Homes, churches, daycares, a mortgage company, restaurants, including her husband. So Robert Sr. does love checking on all of the homes that we own. Yes, you heard that correctly. The only catch for Mary taking over her family business and inheriting her family's empire was that she married her late grandmother's second husband, Robert Cosby Sr. The pair has been married for 20 years and they share a son. Of course, this was Mary's step-grandfather and of no relation. She further explained that it was an arranged marriage. My grandmother told me for herself that she wanted me to take her place. Basically, Robert Sr. was 20 years younger than my grandmother. My grandmother felt like she robbed his youth. So she said, if something ever happens, I want you to marry one of my girls because I know that they will be loyal to you and treat you good like you treated me. All right, maybe that's not too strange after all, or maybe it is. What do you guys think? Mary went on to name five total properties that she and Robert own, including her main mansion in Salt Lake City and homes in Florida, Las Vegas, New York City, and Carmel, Indiana. She also stated they never rent the homes out either, and when the couple isn't there, the homes basically sit empty. Apparently, Mary doesn't like to share. Just in September of this year, Mary revealed that her main residence in Utah was getting a massive makeover, and in an episode of Real Housewives, she was telling her contractor the entire home needed to be upgraded. This is the property where Mary spends most of her time, and she lived here with her family for almost two decades, she said. We moved in when my son Robert was two days old. I just wrapped him up and moved him into the house. That's a long time. My son's 18 now. According to records of the home, Mary's mansion is located in Salt Lake City, of course, and built in 1994. Last changed hands in 2002 and apparently would be worth nearly $3 million these days. Inside, the home spans 11,797 square feet of space with six bedrooms, 7.5 baths, while outside, the lot covers over two acres. Of course, if you watch Real Housewives, then you've seen a lot of Mary Salt Lake Mansion on the show, and she also gives us glimpses inside thanks to social media. Mary loves her couture, so she doesn't miss an opportunity to show off her outfits to her followers. Here we can see an area of her home with some stairs, sparkling light fixtures, and gleaming white marble floors to match the walls. It seems that she's decked out the common rooms with a lot of elegant furniture, but her mansion also looks lived in, and we can tell that Mary loves to shop. There's a grand foyer which progresses into the living areas, and this entry hall boasts more white marble, a chandelier, and soaring ceilings. It seems the furnishings used to have more accents of gold, which we can see in older posts, but I much prefer the way it looks recently. The gold was a bit much in my opinion. 
There's also a great room with loft like second level overlooking the space and here there are also large windows and French doors as well as a fireplace on one end. Through a Housewives star showed fans how she decorated for Christmas just last year. We can see that like the rest of the main level, Mary's kitchen also has double height ceilings and a ton of open space. There are stainless steel appliances as well as two islands with marble countertops and a dining nook. As for Mary's bedroom, she has gold furniture including her massive headboard and nightstands so we can tell this space is super opulent. Mary spent 6 months in 2020 at this sprawling mansion without her husband Robert Sr because he was stuck in Florida and apparently too afraid to fly home. Well, at least they have a property there too. With a lot of time on her hands, she was able to consider a redesign. She explained, I spent the entire pandemic looking at my house and being trapped in it. It was like a marriage, everything stale. So I guess we're gonna have to wait and see the final results of her Salt Lake City home's new look. Another spot that Mary owns a property is Henderson, Nevada. Henderson is a city close to Las Vegas and features suburbs along with restored vintage homes and Lake Mead to the east, while the area is set in a rocky landscape with plenty of valleys and trails. Mary's home here sits on nearly half an acre and is worth at least a few million these days. Some websites even valuing the property at $5 million. Inside the desert oasis boasts 7,703 square feet of space with 5 beds and 5.5 bathrooms throughout. I feel like this mansion has a Vegas aesthetic on the exterior and walking in there are detailed glass front doors and a spacious entryway. Other bonuses include glamorous chandeliers and patterned tumbled marble floors and nearby you'll find the great room. Here there are floor to ceiling windows as well as a statement fireplace on one side with a winding iron railed staircase leading upstairs. Mary's Vegas property has a formal dining room with butler's pantry and a large gourmet kitchen that while it looks slightly outdated boasts a lot of potential. There are also chandeliers here and double islands, one with snack bar style seating. The Airy family room offers disappearing sliding doors to the yard, opening the space right up and there's also a full bar here too. Elsewhere the custom design mansion boasts a home office, elevator and wine room with stunning arch ceilings in many of the main hallways. Mary's master retreat is equally nice, in fact there are double owner suites at this abode so one for her and one for Robert Sr. Finally, the grounds will make you feel like you're always on vacation with the resort like pool and spa surrounded by palms and multiple outdoor living areas and patios to entertain. Not to mention, the property boasts both city and mountain views. So as I mentioned, aside from these two stunning homes, Mary maintains properties in New York, Florida and Indiana as well. Clearly Mary Cosby is living her best life. Anyways, that wraps it up for this house tour. So what did you guys think? Which of the Salt Lake City Housewives homes did you prefer? Her main residence or her vacation escape in Las Vegas? I feel like Salt Lake City and Vegas are two of my dream places to live so I honestly can't choose. But I think if I was lucky enough to own either of those mansions, I might redecorate and turn down that opulence just a little bit. Be sure to let me know your thoughts on Mary's homes down below. Thanks for tuning in, don't forget to follow me on Instagram to chat and I'll see you all next time. Bye!